What's going on guys, Comes are back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video. And just a quick shout out if you guys have not followed yet my Twitter or my Instagram, they will be down below in the description, make sure to follow me on there. But, getting into the video now, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a couple of 90 plus diamonds for absolutely free. In fact, you can even make stubs, you can make profit off of doing this. Um, and uh, yeah, here are the two that we're gonna look at right now. We're gonna look at the bad autographs and the and the baseball autographs collections. Of course, that gets you the Ryan Sandberg. Also, this Kenny Lofton who has no power whatsoever. I haven't used him yet, maybe he's usable. This Edgar Martinez actually isn't terrible. And then also we're gonna get this Willie Storger. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Give you guys a bunch of tips. I spent a lot of time figuring out the best way to do this, the most way to minimize the cost, but to maximize the profit. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, we're gonna look at Willie Storjo. So for Willie Storjo, we're basically just gonna need to collect 29 diamond autograph bats, and there's only 29 diamond autograph bats in the game. Now I went through everything and it cost about 120,000 stubs to collect 29 diamond autograph bats. That is about 4.1k per diamond bat. I'll show you guys the market quick. There is a couple that go for a lot and that kind of just drives up the price as you guys will see. All of them are usually around 2-ish k but then there's a couple that are just 13k, 16k out of nowhere but on average it's going to be about 4.1k a bat. And uh, if you guys look in the program, the Willie Storjo program to be specific, uh, you will get a couple of things. You do get two, 300, 400, uh, 1,400 stubs taken off the price. And also you do get a uh, Willie Storjo autograph baseball, which will help you to do the Ryan Sandberg program, which I'll show you guys later. Um, you do get some universal profile packs, but for stub wise, that doesn't really matter. But you get two suit packs and an autograph pack. And souvenir packs can be really, really hot. You can pull some diamond jerseys out of there that go for like 5k. So that can make it even, you know, even cheaper. And some of you guys might already have some like diamond autograph baseballs. I don't think there's any bats, but I know some like in the immortal programs, like there's a Babe Ruth baseball. So you guys might already have some more and it might even be cheaper. And you guys are going to make even more. More stubs off of it but for Willie storage um, you're gonna put buy orders in for uh, every single bat you guys already know the drill always put in buy orders do not buy them outright you're gonna save you know probably at least a thousand stubs a bat if not more that's gonna be about 30k so put in buy orders just overcut it by about five stubs don't be that guy that overcuts by one but just do like by five stubs that you won't even notice the difference and uh, once you get all 29 bats and once you get Stargell and by the way Stargell He's one of my favorite cards in the game. I'll show you guys my stats with him. He's insane. I really, really like him. He's a lefty with a lot of pop. You guys will definitely like him a lot, which is why I recommend him. Uh, uh, Sandberg, I haven't really had a chance to try out yet, but once you get the storage, like I said, about 120K, give or take, um, you know, a couple, uh, you know, like 100 stubs here or there. But uh, you're going to be left over with 29 NAT bats that you cannot sell. But you can put them back into exchange sets. And you can make your studs back or at least uh, you could potentially make profit or you could lose them. It all depends on what you're going to do. Really, you have two options. One, you can do gold jersey exchanges as you guys will see right here. And uh, you can do 29 of those. And that's going to be about 4.1k, like I said, the average price. So you'd be putting about 4.1k into this set. Um, the average, uh, out of this gold jersey exchange, you do make three gold jersey souvenirs. On average, you're going to make about 2.1k from those three jerseys. The highest you could get is 5.7k, and the lowest you could get is about 1k. You get three jerseys. Some only go for about three you know, 300, 350 stubs. Some go for about 2,000. So, uh, you you have 29 of those sets. You guys can decide what you guys want to do. I don't really know what the best option is. The other option that you guys could do is the uh, jumbo pack exchange. And basically, that's uh, you're gonna pretty much have to put in two. You this one though, you are leaving a lot of exchange points out there, which is why I don't love this method but you can really make a lot of profit. So you can only do this one 14 times if you put in two diamond bats, which cost about 8.2K, like I said, the average 4.1K. Um, the highest you can get from this uh, haul, you get a diamond bobblehead, a diamond autograph baseball, two gold bobbleheads and two gold balls. The highest prop, the highest you can get is 14K, the lowest you can get is 3.5K. 
So if you look at the gold jersey exchange, the worst you can do is lose about 3k and the jumbo pack, the worst you can do is lose about 5k. So in my opinion, I think the gold jersey exchange is a little bit better. Um, there's more chances that you're going to hit. Of course, on the uh, jumbo pack exchange, like I said, you're leaving a lot of exchange points out there. If you do have something else to put in there, that might not be a bad idea because then it'd be a lot more worth it. But if you put two diamond bats in there, you're leaving out like... 2500 exchange points so personally i would probably do the gold jersey exchanges if you do ask me and uh like i said you probably won't make profit back on that one but luckily the ryan sandberg uh that's actually a money maker that is definitely a really good way to make stubs but the starcher like i said really good card and these two kind of go hand in hand you can complete them simultaneously but ryan sandberg if you look at his program he only cost about 58,000 stubs. He cost about 61, but you gain three, uh, 3,000 stubs throughout this program. And you also get three souvenir packs and an autograph pack. Um, along with Kenny Lofton, who is not terrible. The Ryan Sandberg, he's all right. You know, about 75 and 70 power, 85, 95, contact, 90, 90 fielding, 70 speed. Not a bad card at all. Pretty good second baseman. One of the best second basemen in the game, actually. And uh, what you're going to need to do is collect all bronze baseball autographs, which is going to cost you about 5.5k. Uh, 35 silver baseballs is going to be about 4.8k. Uh, 35 gold baseballs is going to be about 11.7 thousand. Uh, then you need 29 diamond live series player autographs. That's going to be about 22,000. Make sure to look in your inventory and your souvenirs. I do have one and you should have one as well. Uh, everybody got an opening day autograph. I got Carlos Correa. I think there's like six other ones. I think most of you guys should have that. So that's going to be one less diamond bobble, uh, ball that you have to collect. And then the uh, 25 Hall of Fame baseball autographs, that's going to be about 17k. The live series is 22k. But the Hall of Fame, like I said, a lot of the Immortals and Career Arcs do have diamond balls, or at least the Immortals do. So if you guys have some of those done, that's going to be less that you have to put in. And also, if you guys would have done the Star Joe first, that's another diamond ball that you could put into Ryan Sandberg. So that's a little bit cheaper. But 58,000 when it's all said and done with Ryan Sandberg. And like I said, that's a lot cheaper and you can make a lot of stubs the only thing is these do take some time especially sandberg because you know you collect so many baseballs because star joe you only have 29 bats and you put that into 29 sets get three jerseys that's what 90 jerseys give or take so uh this is gonna be a lot more a lot more balls but you can make a lot of profit so what you're gonna want to do with the ryan sandberg is uh like i said you get uh bronze and silver balls you get gold balls and you get diamond balls so once again we're gonna go to exchange the diamond balls i recommend you put them into silver jerseys i think that is the best um i was gonna show you i don't did i yeah i did buy a diamond ball just to show you guys um but the silver jersey set you get five souvenir jerseys and I'll show you guys how this is going to work right here. Uh, when I did the Ryan Sandberg program, this is the one that I found to be most uh, most effective to me. Um, I don't know what I have a diamond bobblehead for. I'm pretty sure I bought a ball. It, okay, there we go. Here it is. Uh, okay, so that's going to be about 725 average for each diamond ball. So just show you guys five souvenir jerseys. Going to open the pack right quick. And we're going to make profit off of this every single time. The Cardinals... That's an absolute great pull. Uh, just to quickly show you guys how much profit we would have made right there. Cleveland Indians. That's about uh, 175. The Rays is about another 160. Uh, the Cardinals is really where we're going to make quite a bit of profit right there. That's about 500 stubs right there. All said and done, we probably made at least a couple hundred stubs. And we didn't honestly get that good around. We probably got a thousand. So we would have made about 250, 300. But that's every single time, every single diamond ball. And you would have got uh, 29 plus 25 is about 54 balls. So, you know, even if you only make 300, 300 times 54 is a lot. Actually, I'll quickly do that on my calculator. Uh, let's just say the worst case scenario, you get about 300 profit times 54. That's about 20K that you make. But you're going to make a lot more. If, we, if you pull like three Cardinals jerseys, you're really going to be in the money. So that's what I recommend you do with the Diamond Balls. Then with the gold balls, this is one of my most famous how to make stub methods. Um, you basically put a gold baseball in with a bronze hat. Bronze hats are very easy to accumulate. Um, make sure that you put in a cheap one. There's plenty of them like the twins that also only going for 48. If you guys want to, you can put in buy orders. It's going to be even cheaper. But just to show you guys how that's going to work, this one is really 
really gonna make you a lot of stubs. It's gonna take a lot of time to sell off those, but overall it will be worth it you guys will agree with me this is my favorite way to make stubs like i said it does take some time but you definitely will reap a lot of benefits and rewards in doing so so just gonna show you guys quick once again just so you guys know i'm not trying to pull the uh pull a pull anything over you see the dodgers that's really good the reds are pretty good uh the rangers are pretty good and uh pretty much the prices just revolve around you know like uh like the career arcs and all those sets that they have. So like the Braves, those are really, really good. The Oreos, like we pulled two Oreos. That's going for about 100 stubs. I know we got a Reds. So it's another 120. The Dodgers, I believe, is also pretty expensive. Uh, we pulled the Padres. That's worth 100. The A's are worth 175. The Dodgers are 350. And we would have spent a uh, gold baseball on average is about 325. Plus, let's say, let's just say 30 for a bronze hat. That's about 350. We would have made that profit back on just the Dodger hat alone and you're gonna have 35 gold baseball so it is that is really where you're gonna run your money in and then finally also into the uh, bronze hat exchange all the silver and bronze hats you're just gonna want to put three of them in there this one it's the quickest way to do it um, and you're not losing too many exchange points you're leaving 50 out on the table which is not too bad so you just put that in there once uh, once again you'll have quite a few from the bronze and silver balls in the Sandberg program and you know once again you're gonna get 10 hats the Phillies the Braves oh my god I I'm literally doing things that I cannot say on microphone right now <laughs> We pulled the Phillies, three Braves, and A's, and a Red Sox, and two Astros. That, we probably made 2K off that one right there. But that is pretty much going to do it for this video. That is how you guys can get two 90-plus diamonds and dare I say, pretty damn good. 90 plus overall diamonds for free. Because honestly, like I said, you will not make profit back in the Stargell program, most likely unless you have insane luck. But the Stargell program, you are going to make a ton, ton, ton of stubs. Trust me, do these. Uh, let me know how you guys enjoy this video. If you guys didn't, make sure you like down below. Let me know if you guys have used the Stargell. Honestly, I think he's my favorite card in the game that I have on my team. Him and the cruise missile, I am really, really enjoying. They're doing some work in this event right now. I kind of want that Zobrist, but uh, I mean, I'm not doing too bad. I'm 4-1 and so far, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like down below. Hope you guys have a great day, and there you guys comes out. Yeet. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I took